live from Las Vegas, it's Oops, You Did It Again with your host, Brittany Spears. Hey, y'all! bitch. <laughs> this is the show where we shine a light on the social pariahs of the week, and I get to decide whether they're innocent or not that innocent. <laughs> and speaking of pariahs, shout out to our sponsor, Georgia. <laughs> Voted best place not to vote. <laughs> I too have been put in the hot seat this week. I was accused of not writing my own social media captions. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They thought someone else wrote, Who else finds a sea more mysterious than space? <laughs> Who do they think is running my account? Jacques Cousteau? <laughs> okay, my first guest tonight has been attacked by the rare combo of the Catholic Church and Nike. Please welcome Lil Nas X! <laughs> Hi, Brittany. I uh, hope you don't mind, but I wore my casual look. You look a Mars. Now, I want to start with your new Satan shoes. Is it true that their Nike is made with human blood? Yeah, but I don't know why Nike's so mad. Their whole thing is just do it. Well, uh, I did it. People are also freaking out about your new video where you ride down a stripper pole to hell and then twerk on the devil. Why are they so upset? Uh, because they're closed-minded idiots. People are afraid of me because I'm different, but really, I'm just your typical gay, black, country, rap, sneaker, entrepreneur. <laughs> I put my pants on like everyone else, one assless chap at a time. And, uh, what would you say to the religious folks who were mad that you gave Satan a lap dance? I would say, you know that wasn't the real Satan, right? <laughs> it was a dude in a Halloween devil costume, because the real Satan doesn't do, like, music videos, so maybe chill. To help bring people together, would you be willing to give a lap dance to God? Just to even things out? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess. Okay, let's do it. people that was not the real God. That was just my friend Gary. Thanks, Gary. Okay, my next guest has been canceled and got taken out of the upcoming film Space Jam. Please welcome Pepe Le Pew! Hello to you. I would uh, kiss you all the way up your arm, but I realized that no longer Socially acceptable. So I will shake your hand and say, nice to meet you. <laughs> See? You're learning. Now, the original Space Jam is one of the best alien sports movies of all time. What was your part in the new movie supposed to be? Okay, well, um, every good basketball film needs a uh, Ernie Skunk, that much we all know. So my part was, okay, get this, I see a basketball in a blonde wig, I make love to it for 10 to 15 minutes before LeBron James tapped me on the shoulder, he said, bro, that's a basketball. <laughs> Not my finest moment in cinema, but it made the crew laugh, so. And how do you respond to people who say you promote a culture of assault? Look, I'm an actor. The part you see me play on TV and movie, that's not me. I would love to be at a point in my career where I could turn down projects, but there are not a lot of parts for old French skunk. <laughs> Every audition, everyone come down to me or Gérald Depardieu. And, and if you think I'm problematic, the problematic Looney Tune, two words for you, Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> and you didn't hear this from me, but the FBI is 90% sure Yosemite Sam was at the Capitol riots. <laughs> so, Pee Pee, where do we go from here? I've been doing the work, reading books, you know. Women are from Mars, skunks are from France. <laughs> I realize that, um, Pepe, I love women, but what Pepe needs to do now is listen to women. <laughs> and of course, I'm in treatment for sex addiction. <laughs> Our final guest is, as, we, as we'd say in the early 2000s, a hot mess, and as we'd say today, a full-on sex pest. Please kill the 
keep your hands apart, not clapping, for Florida Congressman Matt Gates. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Giggity, giggity, goop. <laughs> now, who are you again? Uh, my name is uh, Matt Gates, like Bill Gates, but uh, with a Z at the end, like a cool version for teens. Speaking of teens. <laughs> oh, we don't have to speak of teens. No, no. <laughs> let's. So, uh, so, this whole story is so bizarre, so incredibly Florida, that I need to get it straight. You were dating a 17 year old and brought her on trips across state lines. Uh, allegedly. Prostitutes say you took ecstasy and had sex with him in Florida hotel rooms. Uh, allegedly. <laughs> and your Republican colleagues in Congress say that you've shown them nude photos of women you were sleeping with. Which is not a crime. <laughs> Just horrifying. I don't know, Matt. I think I can spot a teen predator when I see one. After all, I was on Mickey Mouse Club. Oh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. People are just targeting me because I defended Donald Trump. And what has Trump said in your defense? Uh, giggity squat. Do you think these allegations are going to hurt you in the next election? Uh, weirdly, in my district, uh, they might help. <laughs> but uh, come on, I I'm just like Pepe here. I I I'm just a ladies' man. Dude, no. <laughs> I'm a cartoon skunk. You are a United States congressman. Be better, okay? <laughs> You know, you know what? Maybe I should do a lap dance too. That that that'd be fun, right? Okay. If you come anywhere near me, just remember I have hip hop friends and country friends, the two populations that are guaranteed to own guns. Okay, point taken. And if I may add. <laughs> kind of like it. And now I'm going to give my verdict. Lil Nas X, innocent. Hell yeah. Pepe Le Pew, not that innocent. I accept. It is uh, time for a new Le Pew. Okay. And Matt Gates, I'm not legally allowed to call you innocent or guilty, so I'll just encourage everyone to judge him by his face. Uh oh. And, and live from New York!